The FIFA world rankings might not be for everyone, but they are a fairly accurate description of the current state of international football. As expected, big names galore in the latest list. The likes of the Netherlands and Germany are not in the top 10. Italy, Belgium, Spain and France are among the nations representing Europe. Brazil and Argentina feature as well. With the World Cup fast approaching, teams will have to find form as they enter the final stages of the qualification process. Here's a look at the FIFA World Rankings. Top 10 nations for the month of October. 10. Denmark 1668.98 points Denmark were one of the best teams at the European Championship this summer and reached the semi-finals of the tournament. Manager Kasper Hajulmund has done an excellent job since taking over. Denmark boasts the experience of Kasper Schmeichel, Simon Kjar and Thomas Delaney, but also have talented youngsters like Mikkel Damsgaard and Mohamed Dharami to call upon if needed. Denmark played some good football at the Euros and recently booked a spot at next year's FIFA World Cup. For the likes of Schmeichel and Kjar, it could possibly be their last international tournament. If they display their Euro 2020 form in Qatar, they could cause serious problems to any opposition. 9 Mexico 1,672.92 points Mexico are an interesting side. There is incredible talent and experience within the squad, and they recently made waves after finishing as runners-up at the 2021 CONCACAF Gold Cup. The loss to the United States of America in the final of the competition will have hurt. Napoli forward Irving Lozano is arguably the star of the side. But manager Gerardo Martino will be happy to have Wolverhampton Wanderers striker Raul Jimenez back in the squad after recovering from a serious injury. Mexico also lost the 2021 CONCACAF Nations League final to the United States of America. El Tri have the squad to make a sizable impact at any tournament and will be keen to improve their ranking this year. 8 Portugal 1,681.73 points The Portugal men's national team is at a crossroads right now. After a disappointing Euro 2020, questions have been raised over manager Fernando Santos. Santos is revered as the man who led Portugal to glory at Euro 2016. The wily Portuguese is a highly experienced manager, but his style of play has not been well received. Portugal boasts one of the best squads in world football, but the results have not been of the requisite level. Portugal were eliminated in the round of 16 by Belgium at the Euros. The World Cup next year could be superstar Cristiano Ronaldo's last. It could also be Santos' last tournament in charge of Portugal, especially if results do not go their way. They are currently second in their FIFA World Cup qualifying group. 7 Spain 1,687.66 points in Luis. Enrique, Spain have one of the best managers in the international arena. Enrique deserves credit for helping Spain get back on track after some tumultuous years. Spain reached the semi-finals of the Euro 2020 and played some attractive football. While their talent of the early 2010s remain U-matched, Enrique's Spain are technically gifted and tactically disciplined. The emergence of talents like Pedri, Gavi and Ansu Fati also bodes really well for the national team. Spain reached the finals of the UEFA Nations League recently, but lost 2-1 to France. Enrique is attracting interest from certain top clubs, but Spain will hope that the former Barcelona manager continues to build on his success with the national team. 6 Argentina 1,738.79 points after years of continuous disappointment. Argentina finally won an international title as they lifted the Copa America this 
summer. The impact of that victory continues to resonate, as Lionel Messi now looks much more relaxed. There was immense pressure on Messi to lead Argentina to success at the international stage, and having finally done that, the maestro is once again enjoying his football for Argentina. Argentina are currently second in their FIFA World Cup qualifying group. They are not among the favorites to lift the World Cup, but they have the best player in world football playing for them. The squad around Messi is talented and looks motivated, and Argentina can certainly make an impact if they are in the mood. 5 England 1750.16 points Gareth Southgate continues to divide opinion, but he can point at England's performances during his tenure as manager to silence his critics. England reached the finals of the Euro 2020 this summer, where they lost to Italy on penalties. They have some of the best players in world football playing for them, including Harry Kane, Harry Maguire and Raheem Sterling, Jack Grealish, Jadon Sancho, Marcus Rashford and Bukayo. Saka are all extremely talented individuals too. Southgate's team selection and England's defensive style of play might not be for everyone. The results are there for everyone to see though. England are currently occupying the top spot in their FIFA World Cup qualifying group. For Italy 1750.52 points Italy won the Euro 2020 this summer, and reached the semi-finals of the UEFA Nations League. As well, Roberto Mancini is now untouchable. From failing to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup to winning the Euros this summer, Italy need to be applauded for their efforts. Mancini has built a dynamic squad with a good mixture of youth and leadership, and Italy are reaping the benefits of his smart decisions. Few would have expected Italy to win the Euros this summer, and few expect them to lift the World Cup next year. Italy, who are currently top of their qualifying group, will be keen to spring a surprise once again in Qatar. 3 France 1779.24 points You just need to take a Look at the players France left out for the Euros this summer to understand the strength and depth of their talent. Didier Deschamps arguably came under pressure for the first time as France boss after his team bowed out of the Euros in the round of 16. Given that France have the best roster of players to choose from at the international level, they were expected to win the tournament. They bounced back strongly, though, and beat Spain to win the UEFA Nations League. France will once again be the favorites to lift the World Cup next year, as they did in 2018. Another poor tournament could spell the end for Deschamps, with many clamoring for the appointment of Zinedine Zidane. 2 Brazil 1820.36 points Brazil lost the Copa America 2021 final to Argentina, in a match. That was promoted as the clash between Neymar and Lionel Messi. One of the best forwards in the world. Neymar recently announced that the World Cup next year will most likely be his last for Brazil. The Selecao's superstar and talisman, Neymar, like Messi, has struggled with expectations at the international level. Despite world-class individual performances, the Paris Saint-Germain man has not been able to lead Brazil to international success. Brazil manager Tite has a talented squad to work with. Neymar would certainly like to bow out of the international arena with success in the World Cup, but that is easier said than done. 1 Belgium 1832.33 points It is hard to justify Belgium's position at the top of the FIFA rankings. There is no denying that they are one of the better teams in international football, but ultimately they have done little given the talent in the squad. The golden generation of Belgium has failed to live up to expectations. They 
reached the quarterfinals of the Euros and the semi-finals of the UEFA Nations League, but much more is expected from them. The likes of Jan Vertonghen and Toby Alderweireld have now entered the final stages of their professional careers, while Eden Hazard's injury issues have been extensively covered. The World Cup next year will most likely be the last tournament for Belgium's golden generation of players. There will be pressure on Romelu Lukaku, Kevin De Bruyne and Thibaut Courtois in particular. Manager Roberto Martinez could soon leave the job as he continues to attract interest from various top clubs, including Barcelona.